So here we are up in northern Utah. This is a John Deere Model R that has been sitting out in this field for who knows how long. And we came out here a couple of years ago. Okay, we're gonna see if this R is froze up or not. We've just removed the... Uh... Nope. Nope. Not froze. And now we ended up just buying this. Um, sitting next to this 830, I bought this 830, and then my dad bought this R. And so we're out here today and we're gonna see if we can get it started. Um, it's a good old tractor. It's not beat up at all. We don't know when the last time it ran was, probably based off of the equipment around here. I think this stuff has been here for probably 12 to 15 years without moving. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to start it. We're not gonna mess around with the, uh, trying to get the pony motor running right now. We are just going to use my tractor over here and a flat belt and connect the two belt pulleys and try to turn over that belt pulley right there and uh, get it started that way. So, it'll be a good, fun day if we can get this thing to start. Who knows? Still a few things that we need to do. But all in all, this tractor's in really straight condition. I don't think there's any, you know, the fenders aren't, the fenders aren't beat up on either side. And, uh, Let's see. The gear shifter's working. I th let's see if this throttle. Yeah, it, that throttle even moves. It's very stiff, but yeah, this will be good. We just took let's off see. this uh, air breather just because we figured that there would be wasps nests down in there, and sure enough. So we'll get all that cleaned out the best we can, so that then it's has clean air to breathe. Okay, so now we're bleeding this R. Now I've got it. That means the, the first one. filter is full. Now, after this, now this filter is full. Now yeah. it should go over into this and fill this filter up, and then it should start coming out of that top yeah, and bleed. Then come out there. So we'll just give it a minute. Well, it'll probably take a little more than a minute. Um, so we, as you can see, we drained about full five gallons of diesel out of this, out of this tractor. So we're hoping that the fuel that's there. We're not gonna, yeah. We're just gonna try to start it on this old fuel. Um, I don't know how much is left in the tank. Maybe we can go check, but. Anyway, so this. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It all oh, happened. wow. Hey, there we go. Wow, that didn't take long. So now, at this I'll point. I'll take this out and get fuel running out of that. Well, there's. There it is. It's coming out. Okay. Primed. <laughs> now I think I'm gonna get your tractor. We'll move this. Yeah, move this running gear. There you go. And see if we can turn this over. Yeah, we can. So there's like a big uh, pulley off of a crawler tractor. Drag that out of the way. We'll have to kind of clean that stuff back up. But now we have a good straight shot to the belt pulley on this R. And my dad said he cleaned out. Oh yeah. You can see down there to the oil now. So that's clean now. Okay, we're all hooked up. 
we've got the throttle loosened up on this one. Compression release is all my dad's got to worry about. Yep. He's gonna, we're gonna turn it over with no compression until we've got oil pressure. Then once we've got oil pressure, he'll and let it run for a while. Yeah, let the I'm compression. Gonna let it, I'm gonna let it go for what Yeah, <laughs> and then apply throttle and. See if it'll start. Yeah, we'll see if it starts. I'll set up my camera. We'll see what happens. tractor down.
smokes a lot, but it hasn't run for who knows, I'm, I'm guessing at least 20 years, 15 to 20 years, it's gotta be. Yeah, pump up, the tires. pump up all the tires, see if they hold any air. And then buy a clutch pad. Buy a clutch pad. And then see if you can uh, move it frontwards see, or backwards. This isn't, um, this isn't the John Deere oil pressure gauge. So I don't know how many pounds, but I'll bet 20 is, would be. It held steady. It held steady, and I think that that's high. I think that would be high on a John Deere gauge, 20 pounds. Hmm. Well, I don't know how much fuel's in that tank. Oh yeah, that's also fuel <laughs> that's 15 years old too. 20, 30 years old, I have no clue. It's been here a long time. Well. That's pretty good. 